go first. Oh. Yeah, um, huh? Tim, are you guys uh, dis disappointed with the way you started the, the league and what do you take for you guys to challenge more the centers? <sighs> yeah, of course we're disappointed, but <laughs> the bigger picture is we, we're doing better than we did last season. Um, so, there's uh, also a lot of positives to look at. It's too early to talk about the gap for me personally, and I think the guys agree. Uh, long way to go, a lot to fight for. So that's all I have to say about the title at the moment. I mean, um, something has been noticed. Um, you off the field, out of the way you are with the club's fans, we even saw that video with the kids and stuff. Is that just showing like how grateful you are to be associated with this brand? That, or is that just your normal demeanor? That's how you are. Um, I'm a reserved person, but um, this club has allowed me to express my, my feelings uh, a bit more than I usually do. It, the club means a lot to me. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a dream to be here and I, I try to enjoy and savor every moment I get. And also to share it with the supporters, the kids and all the people that follow the club. And maybe just, can you just expand on that? Uh, a bit of emotion when you speak about, you know, happy to be here. What's your connection with the club before you arrived at Pirates? Is it a case of your parents supporting the club, you supporting the Pirates? Why so much deep emotion about Pirates? Uh, when I was a kid, 10 years old, I, I played for the development. So I've had experiences of being a ball boy for Lucky Lehuati, OJ, Kifle Remy. And looking at them, as young as I was, um, when you think of it, you want to be there one day. So this is the opportunity I've been given and I just want to make the most of it. Um, I know my brother also supports this team a lot, more than I did, honestly. But like I say, this club means everything to me and my family. So I try to enjoy every moment being here. Tim, I want to ask, um, when you came to Pirates, um, what is it that you wanted to achieve, number one, and also the pressure having to deliver more so that you have taken the jersey number of uh, one of the long, uh, long-standing captains in APG? I mean, I, I, I always put pressure on myself. Of course, this is a big institution and there's added pressure to that. So trying to be my best and be myself is the most important thing for me. And then the rest will follow your performances, the way you carry yourself. And that ultim ultimately attracts whether people see your, your honest work, which is the supporters. And that's why I'm able to have an honest and loving relationship with most of them. Obviously, I'm talking about at the stadiums now. Outside of that, I, I honestly don't follow too much on what's going on. I try to look after my mental well-being which is very important for an athlete, so that also comes on top of my list. And regarding the jersey number, it wasn't my choice. Uh, I had an option of three numbers and unfortunately the other numbers that I wanted were taken, so getting that number wasn't really pressure because it wasn't my first number. But um, I understand what the number means and who was representing the number. So I tried to don the jersey with respect and obviously try and keep a high level of performance like the previous person who wore the jersey. Did, 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 you, speak to him? did you speak to him about his feelings on you taking the jersey because uh, 12, 13 years wearing the jersey? Not necessarily speak and ask for it, but um, at my first preseason camp when I had had the number, uh, we had a uh, pleasant conversation at camp. I was with my roommate and he just wished me good luck and he said I must do well in the jersey number. That's all. How important is it to get three points um, against Galaxy this weekend? Because it will put you guys, you know, like, for that back now, proper. Uh, very important. Like every other game, we, we try to win every game. Um, that's what this club is about, trying to compete for everything. Doesn't always go your way, but you, you cannot stop trying and uh, giving effort. So. I think we're going to prepare well uh, and try to continue from our previous result on Tuesday.
Miguel, every time we touch the ball, there's a buzz around the stadium. Right? You know, uh, you know, for somebody who doesn't understand, you will actually feel that they're booing you, but that's the opposite. <laughs> um, how did this come about, and you know, what would you say to the fans? I don't, I don't know who started it. Um, I'm, I'm a South African, and I know normally more skillful players get certain praises, so. I'm just grateful, and like I said, I think I have a special connection with the the supporters that come to the stadium, uh, and I try to show my gratitude by just performing to my best uh, to to give them joy and obviously to try and bring them happiness all the time.